Hello everybody, welcome back to Active Control's YouTube channel. Finally here, the 50 amp dual plug and play soft starter. Inside the box you will get the soft starter itself, our quick start guides, a spec sheet, and a dog bone. I'm very excited about this product because it has met our expectations. The finishing is good. This is custom made for us. It's coming out with the black handle, but it will soon change to our uh, to our active controls color. So watch out for the next uh, version of this. So again, this is a dual 50 amp soft starter. That means you have 50 amps on leg one, 50 amps on leg two. Essentially, this product, as I've called it, the big brother to the 30 amper, can essentially do four air conditioners, two on each leg. Now, most standard RVs have two air conditioners, which makes this a breeze for this to start on a 3500 watt generator, or if you're boondocking on a smaller one, you have a we have our uh, 50 down to 15, so if you have a single 2200, you just want to run one AC, you can do that here. As well as it comes, this model, and it's available in either, 5200 joules of surge protection. So you can get this with or without surge protection. I recommend with surge protection because it's very inexpensive when you get it with this unit. Now, we've started shipping today assembling today. We'll be shipping out our pre-orders all tomorrow, but I'm very excited about this product. Again, uh, updated app. You'll see on this video my walkthrough of the app with some of the special features that it has. Like uh, you can set it to 230 volts operation, so both outputs turn off at the same time, or set it to not use that function and they work independently. They work independently anyways, but they'll turn off independently. If L1 has a problem, only L1 turns off. If L2 has a problem, only L2 turns off. That's all manageable through the app. Um, watch the app walkthrough that's following this or right after this video. Thank you. Hello everyone. This is the Active Start 50 Amp app walkthrough and update to show everybody the latest features since my earlier videos. Uh, for those who have never purchased a Active Start device, I'm going to start with adding a device. Once the product finds a device, you're going to click on the screen. You can manually type in the code, or as I tell many people to do, is you, you copy the code using your QR scanner of the tag that's attached to the back of the unit. And then you just paste that code, which is not the code that I want. So I'm going to go use the QR reader. I'm going to scan the code. It's there. Copy the code. Go back to the app. I'm going to paste the code. And then I'm going to connect. Now the device is connected and as you know you can rename the device if you so choose. I'm going to call this app walk through rename. Alright so we go to the main screen and you will see in the main screen the information that you've seen in our other device except in the 50 amp model you have two hot legs so we show a current L1, a current L2 a voltage L1 and a voltage L2 60 hertz because frequency is going to be common to both legs so it's only one frequency and then you have the resettable energy that you've seen before the total energy and we will show you again 
additional information like the temperature of the board inside of our box and in the power that's on each leg as well being calculated. Now, under the settings, this is where we have unique features. Under the settings, as you're aware of, we have the reset, the power meter that's been a cumulative number, but we've added this function here. Now our device, because you know many people use it for home applications or RV applications, by default it ships uh, out with this enabled, disable 230 volts. What that means is right now, like some other devices you've seen on the market, when there's a fault, it will turn off both outputs. That's 230 volt operation, I call it, because if you have something that's using 230 volts, you don't want one leg to have power and one leg turned off. But typical RV applications, they're independent legs and there's nothing there, so when they leave here, we're going to try to remember to disable 230 volts, but just remember that and check it in your app so that if L1 has low voltage and L2 is fine, only L1 will turn off. Because in some parks, as you know, the power is not always well balanced. You know, if there's a lot more 30 amp connections, they're going to be on L1. And then if you're 50 amp, you'll see L1 has, you know, a lower voltage than L2, then you know what, why that is. So we also have our surge protection and what you're used to seeing as well is choosing the power settings. Now you'll see here in the app surge protection not installed. So we have a jumper inside with the units that we will remove for units that are ordered with surge protection and for units that are not ordered with surge protection it will say surge protection not installed. And in the future, if you decide that you want to have surge protection, you can just contact us, send you the, the kit to add the module to your unit. And that also goes for if your module gets damaged, you contact us for a replacement module. Now, of course, surge protection, their job is to get blown, so the surge module is not free. Uh, but if something else fails on your board and it's during the warranty period, we will replace the whole product. All right. So, again, it's very important to know this function with the disable 230 volts that basically just changes the shutdown condition. Both softs start still work independent, okay? But if, if there is a problem with incoming power or, or uh, something that's independent of each one, we can shut down both outputs together or we can shut them down independently. All right, and if you get surge protection, this area here will say surge protection okay. And I will show you that in a moment. Um, but it requires powering down uh, the board because it only detects the surge protection on power up. As you can see, I did my power cycle of the unit and I removed the jumper. And we'll show you that no surge protection on L1 and L2 when the when surge protection is not installed. when surge protection is installed, uh, but we don't have the board attached, so that's why it's saying no surge protection right now, because the board is not installed. Now you will see with the surge protection attached that it says surge protection L1 okay, surge protection L2 okay. If the fuses on the board get blown, indicating that the surge protection has been blown, it will say no surge protection. Thank you and hopefully you enjoy our product.